Samsung QN90A for 2021. This is the 50 inch model. I will measure what I can at some point in the video. I'll timestamp in the description where the dimensions and measurements are. Top of the box, we can see the pedestal neck there. Quick setup guide, instruction book and remote pack. The neck and the remote pack. Quick setup guide. Pedestal base. The front spin side. Oh, can we see it? Nice and thin. And that is the back of it there. Onto the instruction book and remote pack. Can it open? Standard Samsung remote. I will unpack these and get close-ups. New Samsung smart remote. Then we'll get a close-up. Figure eight UK mains lead with right-angled figure eight input. Treble A batteries for the standard remote. And the other thing in there, there is a limited instruction guide. I shan't bother getting it out and a bit of stuff about disposal and so on, whatever else. There is an e-manual built into the TV you can access through the home guide, so I guess that's where the instruction book is now. And looking at that remote more closely, this is the standard remote you may get in some countries and not others. There is a model code if you want to order one off Amazon or somewhere. But power on and off, source or input button, channel numbers, tally text, even though it's not there anymore. Pre-channel goes back, volume up and down, channels up and down, mute, channel list, quick access, Netflix Prime, and now Samsung TV Plus, guide buttons, uh, guide button, and then you've got your up, down, left, right cursor and enter, return to go back step by step or exit all the way out, settings button, info, subtitles and so on, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, whether you're on your apps or media playback, they can be applied. So this is the new smart remote again for 2021. Solar cell there on the back to keep it charged or help charge it up. Uh, looking at the top, we've got there the power or on off button. Voice command button applies to Google, Bixby or Alexa. Other buttons, channel numbers, etc. can be accessed through there. Multi view button. Cursors left, right, up, down, play and pause button, play and pause, they become rewind and fast forward. Back button, home, volume rocks up and down, in for mute, channels go up and down or in for guide. So those buttons rock like so. Quick fire, Netflix, Prime and Samsung TV Plus. Also USB Type-C there if you need to give it a good charge. Onto the pedestal stand, I've got the neck first. With the screw packs, those to the side a second, and the base itself, sort of black textured powder coat on there, nice and black it is, pretty cool. That's the actual neck, so I'll pop it that way, you can see we've got those four M4 threaded holes, slots on here, uh, tabs on here, two slots there, so it should just place onto there and down 14 mil m4 screws into those holes or the through holes quick fast forward Briefly looking at the back of the TV before I do put the pedestal on. We can see if it counts to anyone. That first visa mount hole 
it's approximately 235 mil from the bottom of the TV to the center of that first hole. 200 mil square. Yeah, the four threaded M4 holes for the um, pedestal stand to go into. We've also got these channels running all the way across so we can plug in, say, figure eight mains lead there with a handy channel can tuck a wire in and then bring it out down the stand so it keeps it nice and neat. Coming from the other side, we can pop an HDMI in, like so, like so. And that can go down one of the other channels. It squashes in there to keep it nice and neat. That can lead to the pedestal as well. And there's my other example here. And again, a bit of aerial cable, so we've got an aerial connected that could then tuck into that channel or that one maybe. More appropriate. Back to the pedestal base anyway. It's got these two tabs on the top if they show there and there. Two slots there. Tilt at an angle into those slots. Drop it down. Wind those four screws in. More M4 14 mil screws. Screwdriver. Well, that's all attached nice and solid. Then, unlike the QN95A, we've got all the connections down the side. We'll get a close up of those. Looking closely there at the top, USB half amp, USB one amp for hard drives, recording and so on, digital optical audio out, HDMI 4 with a game icon there, HDMI enhanced audio return channel on number 3, HDMI 2 and HDMI 1, local area network, LAN or wide internet connection, twin sat for watch and record, terrestrial aerial in. If we peel that sticker off there we can put that CI card slot reader in. Dimensions, first one width of this black pedestal here, 465 millimeters, 46 and a half centimeters or about just over 18 and a quarter inches. From the front to the back, it's got like 22 and a half centimeters from the front to the back, or maybe eight and three quarter inches. From whatever it's on to the bottom of the screen, seven centimeters, two and three quarter inch, 50 inch model this is, so I will get the width if it's of any interest. So 43 and three quarter inches or 111 centimeters wide. And from the bottom of the TV to the middle of that, middle of that first these amount hole was 235 mil 200 square these are on the back the thickness at its thickest point is 27 millimeters or 2.7 centimeters just over an inch okay i've actually now mounted it on the wall i will do a separate video on that when i get around to doing it but for now really beauty time Got a nice immaculate screen there. Have connected mains, wide internet, and aerial. TV on. If you've got your phone set up with your Wi-Fi details, Samsung account, so and go for smartphone, it'll automatically put all those details into the TV. This is in a store, so I'm going to go step by step. UK. So 
obviously all I've got connected is that aerial, the wired internet. If you do have your Samsung account, sign in, you can go to the App Store then to download more apps. I'm going to skip for now. Postcode for regional programming and stuff. Right, we'll pause while it tunes in. Cool, right, that's all complete. So region select. England be my primary, secondary is where my aerial is facing, which is Yorkshire, and Leeds. So a quick summary there of what I've got, just TV channels and a wide network. If you had Sky and so on, we'd pick those up or Playstations, whatever devices you have. I'm going to do that later. So that's your voice assistant, you can pick either Bixby, Alexa or Google Assistant. So you can quickly add Spotify, BBC Sounds or Google Duo and that's what's on your home screen shown below those. You can add more from that app store. So it's telling me there in the background about intelligent mode so that will optimize the picture and sound to the content you're watching so whatever you're watching it should set the sound in the picture uh, to be the best that it can do for that content i'll say later for now put it onto a normal free view channel here so we can hear the audio see the picture on a normal free view hd sort of stream that's your normal aerial picture the nice guidelines on self-harm he says factors such as social isolation bereavement and a reluctance to access gps are known to increase the likelihood of someone harming themselves and all have been made worse by the pandemic new figures suggest over 65s were admitted to hospital in england around 5,000 times each year as a result of self-harm adam ellie has been to meet wendy who has struggled during the pandemic I don't deal well with the unknown and restrictions didn't seem to be clearing it, no end to this pandemic. So thoughts of self-harm were creeping in when, when, when there didn't seem to be anything else. Wendy has struggled with self-harm since her 20s. Now 68, she says the pandemic has caused her added anxieties with her mum being hospitalised after a Covid infection. Trying to get her care sorted was when I, got, I felt at my most delicate really mentally emotionally all that on 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 my shoulders i was falling apart underneath um okay so i'm just going to flick over to retail mode see what the retail demo is like i was ended up harming myself new data shows over 65s are hospitalized around 5,000 times a year as a result of self-harm and self-poisoning in england Social isolation, bereavement, and a reluctance to visit doctors are said to be factors.
just going to take that back, back off the, the back off the retail mode. Okay, so back to home mode there. Just going to quite try a quick demo on YouTube itself of my own for a bit of sports. They tour and take on the Italian champions, Juventus. Spurs include the likes of Deli Ali, Jumin Son, and Toby Alderweire on their starting eleven. Juventus versus Tottenham Hotspur, a fixture many on in his kind of area. Human Son for Spurs. And can't sneak it in. In terms of form from that moment on. It's a Manchukic great ball. And he directed it to the front corner. And those two work it again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off. And Peter makes a fine save. He's carried in by Antonella. Troy Power denied on the first attempt, but Lamella is there to beat Buffon. Spurs have been the better team, and on the half hour, they lead Juventus. The foul to me on the edge of the penalty area, and play on. I believe it was. And uh, Pjanic, Iquain, and well work, Gonzalo Iquain, pulls it, and he is a true finisher. And he's done it against Tottenham Hotspur before the Juventus show. Back to normal TV. Has made it Juventus 1. It's fragile. It's already under pressure. Benjamin Netanyahu is flexing every last inch of his political muscle, calling on his fellow right-wing politicians to bring coalition. Laura, thanks so much for being with us. I know it's very late there. You and I were talking just a week ago. Okay, so we'll take a quick look at the home menu. So I press the home button, come all the way to the left, we've got the settings there, you can see above the settings you've got your electronic manual built in, your intelligent mode you can turn on, quick shortcuts to your picture mode and sound mode and whatever else. Source or inputs there, so you can see we're on TV, but you could have your HDMI's there if you've got devices plugged in. Smart things. Search app, so sign into your Samsung account, which I have now on this TV off camera. So you can go there and get more apps as well. Multi view there, so you can have separate windows, watch different content at the same time. Ambient mode, screen savers, and so on in the background when the TV is on standby, or your own pictures and collages. Uh, home there, our email. Samsung TV Plus, so some content there from Samsung Live TV, which we've got in the background. Netflix, Prime, iPlayer, ITV Hub, Disney Plus, Now TV, Rakuten, YouTube, Discovery Plus, Channel 4, Samsung Health, Apple TV. There is Apple Music built in as well now, and you've got Apple Screen Mirroring. Uh, internet there, put your Bluetooth keyboard on, basic internet browsing. Google. Alexa, my five. So I can hold down the voice button and I can say search YouTube for gardening. Cool. Or search YouTube for funny dogs. Or exit. I can also say BBC iPlayer. There we go. Or exit. So you can select your chosen voice service. I've gone with Bixby for now. It seems to work fine. Division and uncertainty in Israeli policies. Isn't it true that it's actually quite stable? There is a solid centre-right majority. Okay. So we'll call that it for now. He has posed in the last 12. 